is the managing principal of Urban Studio Architects in Tampa, Florida. Urban Studio Architects was founded in 1989 as an architectural space planning and interior design practice. Mr. Jacob is testifying on behalf of the American Institute of Architects. Uh, the Institute has more than 83,000 licensed architects and associate uh, professionals. Welcome. You'll have five minutes to make your presentation. The mic is not on. Is it? Here we go. Madam Chairwoman Velasquez, Ranking Member Graves, and members of the committee. I'm Mickey Jacob, FAIA Managing Principal of Urban Studio Architects, a seven-person architectural and interior design firm located in Tampa, Florida. And I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to testify today on behalf of my firm and the American Institute of Architects. As the global financial crisis continues to threaten the livelihood of American business, the American Institute of Architects, the AIA, strongly supports the committee in its efforts to pursue policies that will allow small business to prosper in these times of economic crisis. A large majority of the AIA's 85,000 members own or work for small firms. America's architects, like millions of small businesses around the country, have been particularly hard hit by the recent economic downturn. The tightening of credit markets has put the financing of construction projects at risk, resulting in reduced work for architects and, in many cases, the outright cancellation of ongoing projects. The AIA's Architecture Billings Index forecasts a significant reduction in activity within our sector over at least the next 12 months. Firms with a single-family residential specialization have been reporting increased scores since mid-spring due in part to the $8,000 first-time home buyer's tax credit. However, on the whole, the architecture profession is reeling. As the building sector is responsible for about one of every $10 of the United States GDP, a large portion of which is directly created by small business, continued stagnation within the economy will only further magnify the financial hardship and increasing job loss. As a small business owner, I'd like to share with you my firm's experiences in this economic climate, as they are emblematic of the larger challenges we all face. Urban Studio Architects celebrated its 20 year, 20th year in business this past August. Our business model of slow and steady growth during the first 18 years focused on projects in the commercial, institutional, and residential <coughs> sectors. The residential side of our practice represented about 65% of our total revenue. By 2007, we had a vibrant staff of 33 people, creating an average of $300,000 per month in billings. However, in early 2008, our two largest residential projects worth over a million dollars in fee to us were suddenly put on hold due to the inability to acquire financing. The continuing decline in the real estate market has seriously affected our firm by making it almost impossible for our clients, most having a successful track record in development, to acquire financing and build. Additionally, the collapse of the housing market in Florida has put on indefinite hold all residential projects in our firm. Our revenue has gone from averaging $300,000 per month to $30,000 a month. The result of this real estate economic downturn is that our firm has laid off 25 people in the last 20 months, representing 75% of our workforce. We have slashed our overhead, renegotiated the terms of our lease, and asked our employees to take three different pay cuts the last of which reduced salaries to approximately half of what they were earning just 15 months ago. Our financial situation has left us with only two choices, merge with another firm to stay open and save jobs or close our business. Sadly, our firm's story is not unique. Small design firms across the country are facing the same severe challenges and difficult choices. But America's architects believe that this economic crisis presents an opportunity not only to build but to build better. The AIA is launching a new campaign to bring about both short and long-term recovery to our communities with programs that invest in our infrastructure and the built environment. Our plan, which is available at AIA.org forward slash rebuild and renew, focuses on five key areas. Making financing available for design and construction projects. Providing needed financial relief and access to affordable short-term credit to small businesses. Making tax policy work for recovery and beyond improving our nation's infrastructure and built environment, developing incentives for a new sustainable economy that will save jobs. With these incentives, the AIA is proposing a number of policy ideas that, if pursued by Congress, will assist architects, their small business firms, and the nation as a whole to rebound from this economic crisis. In conclusion, small business does not want a bailout. 
We want access to low interest or no interest loans to bridge the economic downturn to help fund operational costs. We want relief from the skyrocketing premium increases of health insurance. We want tax incentives for people to build, buy, and renovate their homes and businesses. We want Congress to hold accountable the recipients of billions of dollars of stimulus money to ensure it reaches the local marketplace as it was intended to do. These wants by small business are not a stimulus package. They are an investment in the economic foundation of the country. My fellow architects and I are happy to utilize our knowledge and experience to work with you in creating realistic and attainable solutions to help small business recover and prosper. It is vital to the healthy future of our profession our people, the healthy future of my firm, and the economy. So I thank you for the opportunity to participate today and tell you the story about our firm. Thank, thank you. you.